Hundreds of thousands of students will head back to school next week, but already many athletes are practicing, getting ready for the start of the season. But with practice also comes safety, especially in the brutal, hot South Florida summer days. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is out there. She's live in Fort Lauderdale, where hundreds of coaches got together this morning. Right, Gabby? That's right, Elliot, and the Broward School District says that at any given time there are 15,000 student athletes on the field. So today they held a special event to make sure that coaches and trainers know how to keep the kids safe. Sports in the South Florida heat can get risky. In Broward County, the school district wants to make sure that before competition comes safety. South Florida can be brutal. Not hydrating properly, not uh, doing the things that, that you really need to do as, a, as an athlete. It could be dangerous. Hundreds of school coaches teamed up with health specialists on Wednesday to talk sports safety before heading back to school next week. Now, obviously, we want to have a high level of competition, but safety is paramount. And uh, we, I, I want my coaches to have all the information they need to have in the event something catastrophic happens. 24,000 Broward Public School students are involved in sports. So educating the men and women who watch over them could make a life-changing difference. We'll be the first ones there to respond. We need to know, you know, the signs, those early warning signs could save a young man or woman's life. Coaches learned about the importance of physicals, proper hydration, and how to look for signs of concussion and sudden cardiac arrest. In 2011, Miramar High School student Isaiah Lawrenson collapsed during football practice and died. These coaches want to make sure that a similar tragedy never happens on their watch. We want to make sure that we're getting the best information and the latest trends and everything we need to be watching for. Passing on the information to athletes is another goal that will help keep their teams protected. The age old problem, everybody wants to hide their weaknesses or they, you know, they, they get injured and they don't want to tell the coach. So we're constantly fighting that, you know, just be honest kids, you know, let us know so we can help you. And these coaches and trainers obviously not around 24 seven. So health officials say it's just as important for students and their parents to get educated on sports safety. We're live from Fort Lauderdale, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.